There are some anxious moments again for a family that lives in this neighborhood. I want to bring in 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan tonight. Josh, you spoke off camera to the family of Joe Phillips today. What do they have to say? Well, Jeff, that's exactly right. And understandably, the family is very worried, very upset right now. He's been missing since yesterday, and he, their family tells us that he may have been inside the factory when it caught fire. I spoke with Joe's sister earlier today, and she says nobody has seen or heard from him since yesterday afternoon. Now, Joe's family says he was last seen with two of his friends. Nobody in the family is sure where Joe might be, but investigators say someone may have been inside the factory when it caught fire. Joe's mother says that now she is waiting for Cruz to let her know if it was her son. Investigators aren't providing any names at this point. There, there may be uh, somebody inside the building at the time of the fire. Um, we're actually investigating that right now. Um, there are reports of it. Um, the individual who obviously I'm not going to give the name, um, there has been uh, speculation that uh, this individual is in the building and he has not been heard from since. Again, investigators wouldn't say who that individual might be, but the family of Joe Phillips tells us they are still waiting for Cruz to be able to get inside the fire area. Until then, they won't know for sure if Joe was there yesterday or not. His mother, Ann, telling 7 Eyewitness News, nobody should have to go through with this. And obviously, if you've seen Joe or if you know where he might be, his family is desperate for any news on his whereabouts tonight, Jeff, and they're just hoping for some good news. Clearly, our heart is with that family, our thoughts with that family tonight. Josh. Appreciate your reporting this evening. Now, this